I'd like to make a short video to show you a few tricks in Microsoft Word that make typing of equations a lot easier. Uh, this is an improvement to Word that happened quite a number of years ago, but somehow is not as well known as it might be. Uh, my reference here is to my colleague Thomas Coe, who has a handout on this subject that I recommend to you if you want to see more about it. So, of course, we can use insert equation to insert all kinds of equations like a fraction into Excel, or excuse me, into Word. And so if we do this, I don't know where it is actually, here we go, insert, insert equation, we can insert a fraction, put a 2 there, put a 3 there, and then we've got an equation. So for instance, we might be writing uh, the the temperature, the um, answer to the question is insert equation fraction insert two-thirds period. But wouldn't it be nicer if I didn't have to remove my hands from the keyboard? So for instance, wouldn't it be nicer if I could type the answer to the equation is so I didn't need to use the mouse to do that I used the alt equals feature so for instance um, again I'll type the answer to the equation is and then I want to insert something I hit alt equals which brings up the insert equation box and then I just type 2 over 3, and when I hit the space bar, it turns it into the fraction. And when I hit the right, right key, the right navigation arrow, I get out of the equation and I can continuing, continue writing. So I can write the temperature of the room is, and then Alt equals, 34 degrees. When I hit space now, there's my degree symbol, C, right navigation arrow, done. So this is a very powerful technique, the alt equals technique. For instance, you can say the viscosity of the solution is alt equals mu. So all the Greek letters, if you do the backslash and the name of the Greek letter and hit space, it'll appear and then you can say it's 1.32 and if you've got an uncertainty go slash plus minus space uh, 0.13 pascal seconds right navigation to exit period without my fingers ever leading the keyboard I was able to put the plus minus in there the mu etc so let me show you a few more things um, the mean of the sample may be calculated by, and now I'm going to put a carriage return, and I'm over here now, and now from the new line I say alt equals, and I say um, the formula for this, which is x sub j, I hit space, and now I'm going to put a bar over top by going um, bar, and two spaces brings it to the top equals 1 over n space makes that into that and then slash sum is going to put a big sum from when I hit the under bar it jumped and made the summation sign and now I use parentheses to say i equals 1 and then I'm going to do the caret to do so now it's going to do from i equal 1 to n and when I hit space they pop into position and then x sub ij space right navigation arrow and I'm out and I'm done okay so that um, that was a use of the summation character I can also do things like uh, say uh, transitional flow 
is for, and I'm going to talk about the Reynolds number, alt equals, alt equals, uh, goes from 2100, and then slash less equal, le, is less than or equal to the Reynolds number, slash less equal, space, 4000, to give the range of the Reynolds number um, for transitional flow. Um, we can also do a number, you saw in this example that I can do bar to get an over bar, but I can also say the unit normal is, and then I'm going to do n hat, so I do alt equals n, and it's hat, space, space, right uh, navigation, and I'm done. Um, complex character like the stress tensor, the stress tensor, and in my book, um, I use a tilde on top, so I'm going to say alt equals slash tau, so there's my tau, slash tilde to get the tilde on top, two spaces, and slash capital U bar, under bar, to put a double under bar on the bottom, right navigation, out. Oops, I need a sentence here. The stress tensor tau is always symmetric. There we go. Um, and then finally, I'm just going to keep this short. I'm going to show you how to do a complex equation, which I have already done here, so you can see where I'm heading. All right, so this is the Caro yasuda equation in rheology. Let's see what it takes to um, type that. So I'm going to start a new line here, and I'm going to hit Alt equals, and I'm going to say eta, that's the eta on the left, open paren, that's a gamma dot, so I go gamma, space, but there's a dot on top, so I go slash dot, space, space, moves it in, spa in position, right paren, equals, slash eta, space. This is a um, subscript infinity, I-N-F-T-Y is infinity, space, to get it to be infinity, space again to be the subscript, plus, open paren, eta, sub zero space minus eta space sub infinity space space close paren open paren one plus open paren now gamma dot which was slash gamma space slash dot space space lambda space close superscript a space close paren again and now I'm going to superscript. Now to get that n minus 1 over a, I'm going to open twice. Do n minus 1 over a and close and hit again. And then I've completed the equation. And finally, just for fun, let's do the Navier-Stokes equation. And that'll be the end of my video. Alt equals. All right, the Navier-Stokes equation is rho left paren, slash partial, the partial derivative of the velocity, u bar will give me the under bar of the velocity, space, space, over, partial, t, space, will make it a vec uh, the um, fraction, plus, now here it's going to be v, under bar, c dot, nabla is the, the gradient operator, v u bar, close paren, and when I hit this second close paren, I hit another space, and it resizes the parentheses, equals minus nabla of the pressure plus mu, the viscosity, times nabla, excuse me, nabla squared, uh, the velocity again, and then plus the gravity rho, the density, and the gravity, u bar, voila. All right, so it's very, very handy to use these tools. My hand never needs to leave the keyboard. And for more tables, um, Dr. Ko's handout has all kinds of tables that you can use to find other kinds of mathematical symbols you might be interested in using.